Welcome back for another MATLAB Minute. If you're new to the channel, this is a place to get quick explanations, tips, and how-tos for all things related to MATLAB. Most of the channel's content is inspired by real questions from undergraduate engineering students, so hopefully it's relevant and helpful. This MATLAB Minute is about code cells. Code cells, or code sections, are a great way to keep your code organized and clean. You should use code cells when you have long scripts that serve many purposes. Code cells are especially useful when you want to break up code into more manageable chunks that can be run individually. For example, you might have a data acquisition script where one cell is used to define variables, another cell is used to define the simulation parameters and run the simulation, and another cell is used to organize and plot the acquired data. Defining a code cell is easy. Just use the double percent sign to specify where to begin a code cell. Any typed text on that same line of code will serve as a title for that cell. Any code below that cell definition will be a part of that cell until another cell is defined. Once a code cell is defined, it can be run independently of the rest of the script. Right-clicking in the cell and evaluating section is a convenient way to run only the code in that cell. In contrast, running the whole script will execute the entire script as expected. Another nice feature regarding code cells is something called code folding. To enable code folding, if it isn't already, go to the MATLAB main menu, then Preferences, Editor slash Debugger, then Code Folding. Make sure the Main Code Folding option is selected, and also check to see that the Sections option is selected as well. Back in the script, we now have the option to collapse or fold the code cells that we don't want to see for that moment. This is useful for decluttering your script while working on a different code cell. It seems like a little thing, but once you've used code cells for a while, you'll wonder how you ever lived without them. Alright, that's it for this MATLAB Minute. If you have any questions or think I missed anything, please let me know in the comments section below. And if you found this content helpful or interesting in any way, please consider liking and subscribing to help out the channel. See you in the next one.